Today's video is brought to you by Technically Not a Technician, and in today's video we'll be reviewing Golden Axe 2. Sega's Golden Axe 2, first released for the Sega Mega Drive in December 1991, is a side-scrolling beat-em-up arcade and video game. It's the follow-up to the classic arcade game Golden Axe, while a sequel called Golden Axe 2, The Revenge of Death Adder, was released in 1992 for arcades as well. While the first Golden Axe was available on many other consoles, its sequel was initially launched only for the Mega Drive. In 1993, a Sega Mega Play cart ported Golden Axe 2 to arcades. Sonic's Ultimate Genesis Collection for Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3, as well as an iOS app on iTunes and the Nintendo Switch Online Plus expansion pack, subsequently included the game. In Golden Axe 2, the three playable heroes from the original game return to protect the inhabitants of the area from a new clan of wicked warriors and their master, Dark Gold, and to recapture the famous Golden Axe from him. There are seven stages in total, six scrolling levels and a boss fight against Dark Gold at the conclusion. Like its predecessor, Golden Axe 2 is a hack and slash arcade game played from the side. The player can select from three different combatants, the Dwarf Gilius Thunderhead, who wields an axe, the Barbarian Axe Battler, who uses a two-handed sword, or the Amazon Tyrus Flare, who wields a longsword. Each character may employ their own distinct brand of elemental magic to deal harm to foes at any moment. Each character has a certain number of health bars that will deplete if they take damage. Although the story and gameplay were mostly carried over from the original game, certain refinements were made for the console releases. By hitting the jump and attack buttons at the same time, players may conduct a back attack that now deals damage from all directions. As soon as you pick up an enemy, you may press right or left on the D-pad to hurl them in that direction, making it simpler to use them as weapons or toss them off cliffs. The main change that was made was to the magic system. When the player pressed the magic button in the first game, all of their magic pots were expended. In the sequel, players could choose how much of their magic to expend by holding the button and releasing it when the meter reached the appropriate level. Axe Battler's exploding magic, from the original game, was replaced with wind magic, while Gilius Thunderhead's lightning spells were swapped out for rock magic. Although Tyrus Flare still uses fire magic, she now has brand new animations to go along with it. In comparison to the original Golden Axe, when Axe Battler and Tyrus had equal reach, Axe Battler is now able to fling foes higher and further with his weapon. Lastly, Axe Battler got a shoulder guard while Gilius Thunderhead got some black gauntlets for purely aesthetic reasons. In many respects, the Sega Mega Play arcade cart was just a more challenging adaptation of the console version, with the following additions and improvements, the player now only has two hearts instead of three, and pressing the A button will use up all of the player's magic right away. An eight-minute time limit on each stage is the last change that makes the game harder. During the course of the tale, the player is tasked with rescuing the Golden Axe from the clutches of Dark Gold. The player must travel through a variety of environments before arriving to Dark Gold's stronghold. The game consists of seven different areas. Dark Gold's Chamberum, the Ravaged Village, the Old Ruins, the Tower, the Dragon's Throat Cave, the Castle Gates, and the Dark Castle. At the end of each zone, the player confronts a boss who leads a horde of opponents in a final showdown. Along the adventure, the player may also pick up magic books that will boost their magic gauge. You also have the Green Dragon and Fire Dragons that may also be ridden and employed in battle. The game was released with the original Golden Axe 3, and a slew of other Genesis, Mega Drive games on a PlayStation 2 and PSP compilation titled Sega Genesis Collection in the United States and Sega Mega Drive Collection in Europe. The game became available on the Wii Virtual Console on June 11, 2007. It's also accessible via iTunes and GameTap. The Golden Axe Trilogy and other Sega Mega Drive and Genesis classics were made accessible to Steam users on June 1, 2010. Sega Genesis Classics was initially published on June 29, 2018, for PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and PC, with a Nintendo Switch port coming in December of the same year. More content for the game was made available online for the Nintendo Switch on December 15, 2022. If you'd ask me, I'd say if you're searching for a faithful recreation of the classic arcade experience, this is the version of the game for you. Please don't rely on my word alone. These are the opinions of a few more reviewers on the matter. Console XS awarded Golden Axe 2 on the console a 75 out of 100, deeming it simpler to play than the original. 
the aggregate score from Mega Action was 90%. Although complimenting the game for being larger and better than the original, the reviewer ultimately concludes, if you want more of the same, then this is for you. Allgame rated the game 3 out of 5 stars, saying, the game is still enjoyable for what it is, however, and fans of the original probably won't mind that it's more of the same, because the sequel has practically identical visuals, sound, and features as the original. Although the gameplay has not changed, Illusionware applauded the game for its enhanced visuals, saying, a nice little sequel with slightly better graphics but nothing really new on the gameplay side. Upon analyzing everything, they concluded it was a 7 out of 10 rating at best. The game was ranked as number 14 on Mega's list of the best Mega Drive games of all time. According to Games Radar's 2017 list of the best Sega Genesis games of all time, this game has a rakes in 34th place. I'd like to thank you for watching today's video. I hope you've enjoyed it and found it informative. If you did, please like, comment, subscribe, and share this video with a friend. These are all small clicks of the mouse for you, but they really help our channel grow. Thank you.